Hello everyone, in this video I'll be talking about another of your questions which is how can we rig a face with the hijab. But before that, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with your friends so we can all learn together. And if you aspire to achieve mastery in face and head rigging using the joystick script, I recommend taking a look at this course. Okay, without further ado, let's get to rigging the face of this little cute girl. But if you're interested in learning how to design this character, please let me know in the comments, so I'll talk about that in the next video. First thing first, let's take a look at the layers of this character to avoid any complication during the rigging process. We have two layers for the eyes, two layers for the eyebrows, the next layer for the nose, followed by a layer for the mouth and a layer for the face of the character. Let me solo it to see it better. The next layer is for the scarf. And the next one is for the body. Okay, the first thing we need for rigging with the joystick script is to create the right, left, up and down position for the face. To do so, I solo the face and hijab layer. So I can work on it easily and I start creating the left, right, up and down positions. Well, I open the face layer and create a keyframe for the properties I want to animate. I hit U to see the keyframes. I go to the next frame and create the right position of the face. For that, I select all the path points. Then I hit Ctrl T to see the transform tool and then I create the right side position. I move the points a bit to the right. And also move this part to the right more. Then I adjust the paths. If you want to chain both handles together, hold ALT so that they get big and small together. Let's go to the next frame and create the left side position. I select the layer and click the origin in the joystick section to paste the main keyframes here. Then I select all the points and hit Ctrl T and then I create the left side position. Well, it's good. In the next frame, I create the up position. I select the layer and click the origin. I select the points, Ctrl T, bring it up and compress the shape a bit like this. Well, it's good. And in the next frame, I create the down position. Okay, after doing these, I reveal the layers of the mouth, nose, eyebrows, and eyes. And I should sync them up with the face rotation. Alright, this layer is extra. I delete it. I open their positions and set the keyframe for each. I also set the keyframe for the scale of the eye layers. Then I hit U to see the keyframes. I go to the next frame, which is the right side position, and I match all the layers with the face. In this pose, the X scale of the right eye should be reduced a little bit, so I set it to 55. And I move it to the right a bit. I do the same for the eyebrows and nose. It's good. The nose should be here. 
The mouth should be in line with the nose, so I put it exactly under the nose. Then to fix the nose look, I open the contents, and in the trim path, I create a keyframe for the offset. I hit you. I back the keyframe to the beginning of the timeline. And change the offset to create such a look for the nose. Then I go to the eyebrow layers and create a keyframe for the eyebrow pads, so I can adjust them too. I move the keyframes to the beginning of the timeline and I shorten this eyebrow a bit. I think it's better to move this eye and eyebrow to the right, and the nose back. It's good. I go to the next frame and create a left side position. I select the layers and click origin and I put them on the left side. I set the X scale of the left eye to minus 55. Oh, I have no keyframe here, and for the rig to work properly, I need to create a keyframe here. So I copy and paste the first keyframe here. I make this a little bit shorter. And I go to the up position. I select the layers and click the origin. And I bring up the layers. I go to the next frame and create the down position for the face. Once that's done, I select all the keyframes in the joystick panel and I click on this button and name it head turn, then click OK. After that, if I change the joystick, you can see the character face is completely rigged and I can control it with this joystick. Well, I zero the position to be exactly in the center. And then I go for the rigging of the eyes pupils. I open the eyes layers. Then in the contents, I open the pupil group. Then again into the pupil group, I open its transform and create a keyframe for its position so I can animate the eye pupil. And I hit U. And I do the same for the right eye. Well, in the first frame, the pupils are in the center. In the next frame, I should place them on the right side. And in the next frame, I should move them to the left. I go to the next frame and select the layers, click the origin to paste the first keyframes, then I move the pupils upward. And the next frame, I bring them down. After doing this, I select the keyframes. In the joystick again, I click on this option and create a joystick for pupils rotation. I place it here. Then I make it smaller. Do the same for this one too. And as you can see, I can easily control the pupils with this joystick. Alright, I zero their positions for now. And I shade the layers I don't need so they won't be visible in the timeline. After that, let's go and create a controller to control blinking. For doing so, first I have to create the blink animation for the eyes and then create a controller for that. For that, I create a keyframe for the properties I want to animate. In the eyelash, I create a keyframe for its path. Then in the white shape, which is related to the white of the eye, I create a keyframe for its path and hit the U button. 
Then in the next frame, I create a closing position for the eyes. I hold shift so that the point comes straight down and I bring this up. I also adjust the eyelashes in the same way. Well, it's good. I'm placing two rulers here so I can change the next eye similar to this one. I create a keyframe for the eyelash path and another one for the white path. I put the first keyframes here and the second keyframe, I create an eye closing position. To make the work easier, first I hide the eye and adjust the eyelash. And then I change its handles. Let me hide the ruler. After doing this, I move on to adjusting the path of the white shape. Well, to ensure our animation is working perfectly, I bring these second keyframes a bit forward so we can slowly watch how the blinking animation happens. Well, it's good. I put them back in their place. I select the keyframes. To control the blinking, I use a slider this time. In the slider panel, I click on this option and name it Blink. And I place it here for now. Now if you pay attention, when I increase it to 100, you can see the eye blinking animation happening. And if you want to make a UI slider, you just need to select your slider in the effects control panel and in the slider panel, under UI slider, click on create. I put it here. I also uncheck the spikes so that the extra part is no longer visible. Well, as you can see, the character's head is completely rigged and you can create the blinking in different positions of her face. Also, you can control the pupil's rotation easily in different positions. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this helpful and if you're interested in character rigging, don't miss out this playlist.